And we're back to learning Inkscape and this time I'm going to show you how to create a spider web. Let us start with the Bezier tool, I'll hold control and click two times to have a straight line. Make sure it's selected, go to object, fill in stroke. Under stroke style we can set the width. It depends on the size that you've got. Let me pick, I don't know, maybe 10 is fine for my example. Select the line again and keep the 10 millimeters in mind. Right click and duplicate or simply press Ctrl D. I need six copies, so I press Ctrl D a couple of times. Then I click on it again and when I rotate it, I hold Ctrl and at the same time Shift. And now I go one increment upwards with each of the copies. So I need to select them and click on them again to be able to rotate them with the cursor tool. And when I rotate, as I've set, I hold Control and Shift. One more. And that's what we need. So it's seven of these lines. Use the Vizier to again make sure your snapping is enabled. The default should be fine to connect all of these endpoints. So the line is invisible right now because the width is too low. Just let me zoom in. I select it and now I increase the width to 10. So that's the width we've had before. Let me go down to the bottom. You can see right there we need a round cap. That solves the problem. Select the line again, then use your notes tool. And create these curvatures. Simply left click on the lines and drag them down. That should be fine. Make sure this line is selected, then press Ctrl D. So I've got only this line copied. Then drag it downwards, just like this. Make sure that you are somewhat at around 45 degrees. And now we need to readjust the stroke width at the bottom right here. So again, let me set that to 10. If your lines exceed a little bit, the lines to the left and the bottom, maybe you should change the cap. Now shift click on these two lines. Then go to Extensions, Generate from Path and Interpolate. We've got five interpolation steps. The method is one and zero for the exponent. When you check your live preview, you might get a warning message. Just click OK. It should be rendered anyway. Don't forget to apply it. Then select it, press Ctrl D, Object and flip it. And again, select it all, Ctrl D, this time flip it vertically, once again under object. When you've got a snapping enabled, it's easy to find the perfect position. Go to object and group it. What you can see right here, where the overlaps are, I've got very thick lines. So let me ungroup it under object again. And then I select these individual lines and I simply press the delete key. And that's better. Again, I selected all object group. And this is how you can create a spider web in Inkscape. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.